Over now to the elections in North Korea. The communist state held its first parliamentary elections under the current leader, Kim Jong-un, which pundits say stand to further consolidate his base. The result? Well, you probably won't be that surprised to hear that 100% of the vote went to Kim. Our Connie Kim has the details. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has been elected to a new rubber stamp legislature in the nation's first parliamentary elections since he assumed power. The North's official Korean News Central Agency said Monday that Kim won with 100 percent of the vote. All voters in the number 111 Mount Baekdu constituency voted for Kim Jong-un in the 13th Supreme People's Assembly. The Supreme People's Assembly is North Korea's utmost sovereign organization, the equivalent to South Korea's National Assembly. The nationwide elections are expected to consolidate Kim's power base after the recent purge of close aides, including Chang Song Taek, was executed last year. Analysts say the elections will likely promote officials depending on their loyalty to the young leader. There is also a high possibility that Kim Jong-un's younger sister Kim Yo-jong will hold a key position in the Supreme People's Assembly. She was listed along with senior officials of the Central Committee of the Ruling Workers' Party. Korean Central Television called Kim Yo-jong after Hwang Byung-ho, the vice department director of the Workers' Party. This means that Kim Yo-jong could hold a similar position, because of when her name was announced. North Korean experts speculate that Kim Yo-jong will replace her aunt Kim Kyung-hee in taking care of Kim Jong-un's slush funds. The turnover rate of the new Supreme People's Assembly, which has a total of 689 deputies, is expected to be 40 percent. Aside from Kim's appointment as deputy, the rest of the results have not been announced. Connie Kim, Arirang News.